Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, Mac here, playing Dying Light, showing you a secret sword location of the EXP caliber or the Excalibur sword that you can find within the game. Now, there is one unique location of it. You can also find it randomly when searching uh, high value places, like in the back of police trucks, for example. Um, it will occasionally spawn. This is the only surefire way to get it, as far as I know. Uh, on the map, you're going to want to probably progress through the game a whole bunch. In the bottom right-hand corner, you can come to this shoreline. I'll show you the arena off in the distance, and you can see the bridge to my left there. Um, obviously, if you haven't been here before, this part of the map will be completely black for you. So you'll probably have to like run over here and clear some of the map to kind of see the same things I saw. You probably want a whole bunch of uh, safe houses and whatnot. I do actually recommend upgrading your character a whole bunch before you pick this weapon up, as you get to only really pick it up once. It does take damage, and you can't repair it, so it's kind of like a one-time use kind of weapon. Anyways, now that we're on the very edge of the coastline where I marked um, the checkpoint, we're going to want to go to that rock that's just floating there in the middle of this little bay area. And through the magic of editing, I will fast forward because I don't want you guys to watch me swimming, which is incredibly slow in this game. Eventually, once you reach the rock, you're going to want to climb on top of it, and you will see the magic Excalibur sword right here. Um, to pick it up, it works in the same way as searching a dead body. You're just going to have to hold whatever prompt it is on the Xbox. It's X. Now, this takes significantly longer than anything else in the game to search. It takes two and a half to three minutes um, to get this to come out of the body. So obviously I'm going to fast forward through editing. Now uh, you'll see that eventually the circle's filling up more and more. And eventually once you do fill it up all the way, you can't let go of that prompt or else you have to start all over. Um, the sword will come out, fall into the ground, and you're going to have to pick it up off the ground. Now as soon as you pick it up, the body on the ground in front of me here with the zombie, it'll actually light on fire. Watch out, it can damage you. I don't know why it lights on fire. Well, I do kind of know. It, 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 it's there to just uh, get rid of the, the zombie's body. Do not do what I'm doing here. I'm trying to light the sword on fire. Um, you're going to want to look at the stats of the sword. Uh, they're not always going to be the exact same. Um, but my sword, it only had seven hits on it. I use them all right here. You'll see the first five hits I get are super powerful. One hit kills. After seven hits, it is actually damaged to the point where it will not kill anything. And you'll see me doing that right here. I'm going to be battling a whole bunch of enemies and I'm going to, they're not going to be dying at all. And I have no idea why that is. It's because I didn't look at the stats and didn't realize that this only has seven durability. Um, what that means is you might want to actually pick up this weapon once you progress further into the game and you'll unlock more abilities and more durability for your weapons. You can also put on three upgrades as far as I know from what I've seen in the uh, menu which I'll be showing you in a second here. Here's more video of me um, hitting enemies with this sword and not doing any damage. Um, I would probably recommend putting upgrades on this if you have the upgrades and I'd probably recommend uh, upgrading its durability. You don't really need handling because it has good handling and damage. It does enough damage. Here you'll see it in my inventory slot and you can tell by the little caution symbol uh, right there that it is damaged to the point where it will not do any damage. Um, so that's unfortunate. You can't repair it like I said but you can put on upgrades uh, before it reaches that point to make it last longer although it doesn't last very long. It is ultra ultra powerful but does not last very long. So you want to keep that in mind when using it. Now you, you have a few options to do with it what you want once it reaches this point. You can scrap it for two metal parts which I would absolutely not recommend. Um, the, the metal parts are not that useful and two metal parts for this gun definitely not useful. I believe you can trade it in. I accidentally lost the sword at one of the areas and I couldn't pick it up because of a glitch. I think you can trade it in for about like $2,000. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's tradable, which I'd recommend to do that once it's completely destroyed. Now, if you do return to the rock later on in the game, um, after you've slept and saved, uh, if you return to the same exact rock as before, you will find the blueprint for this sword as you can see on my screen right here. I'm going to pick it up and then show you guys the screen here. Um, this is what you're going to need to do uh, in order to blueprint it. You're going to need a whole bunch of really common parts and then you're also going to need one, um, one tissue of one of the enemies which I believe is the rarest part on there. And uh, that's about it. Hopefully that was useful to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it entertaining. If you have anything to tell me about the sword in the comments down below that I might have missed, please let me know. And hopefully I see you in one of my next videos. Peace.